Hi all! Here is the first video for uh, the curved piecing tutorial. I'm going to start with cutting. Um, so you can see that I've got my template cut out and I've taped it to the back of the 10 inch circle slope, so along this line here. And it doesn't need to align with any of the lines on the ruler. You just want it to align with the slope so you can get that right um, slope curve. Then I line it up with the edge of my fabric and give it a cut. And it sounds like I didn't get it all, so I'm going to go one more time. There we go. Alright, so this is removed, and then there's my piece. This is the other piece that you can get just by rotating the fabric. You're going to have this um, strange piece. Usually what I do is I'll just cut it in half and I'm going to save these pieces. Hold on to them in a nice tidy stack because um, I'll be giving you a pattern that you can use these for at the end. So next I'm going to share with you uh, how to cut the the outside corner of the circle. So just as in the past with the circle you want to align this with the proper curve. This time it's the 9 inch curve and I'll explain more why um, I designed it that way. So I've lined it up. Here is my stack of fabrics and I really should mention you want all of these fabrics to be upright. Since this isn't a symmetric pattern piece, if you cut some with the fabric facing down, um, because maybe you've got your fabric folded, that's not going to give you a piece that you'll be able to use. Well, you could use it, it just um, would be opposite of the pieces that we're making. So once again, um, I lined it up with the fabric here, 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 and here, and then I'm ready to cut. Now what I'm using right here is a 60 um, millimeter rotary cutter. You can use just about any size and you can even use this size which is the 28 millimeter but here is uh, the one um, difficulty with that. This blade does not stick out very far from the workings of the uh, Ulfa cutter and Unless, since you are also going through an acrylic template, unless you hold the blade straight upright, you don't have the distance you need to also cut the fabric. So, um, but any other rotary cutter size uh, will do. So, next we'll be on to sewing in the next tutorial. Thank you.